In previous videos, I've showed you how easy it is to record an Audio Evolution Mobile. You just hit the record button, and you're, you're off and running. But if you hit the record button again, it's going to load up a second track. And if you want to keep all of one instrument on one track, you need to arm that track to tell it explicitly, I want you to record here on this track. Now pay attention very close to where you've got this green marker, because if you've got it over here, you're going to start recording over the other section. It, it won't be destructive, but it's going to make a mess. It's going to put in this extra clip that's going to be on top of your previous clip, and it's just a big mess. So pay attention to where you've got your green marker. And now when I hit record, it's going to start from there. Another interesting feature in Audio Evolution Mobile is available by holding on the timeline and it brings up this menu where we can punch in and punch out. And this brings up some red markers and let me zoom in here to show you these better. Let's say I didn't like that recording I just did and I want to change this to uh, E flat. Now when I hit record, it's going to start where the playhead is, and when it gets to that red marker, I'll be able to record over that. So now we've got a new recording all together, and we can listen to that. If you need a metronome for your playback, there is one provided by tapping on the tempo menu at the top. You can just turn this on and off, and now when you hit uh, record, you're hearing it, so now you can play along to the tempo, which is really helpful sometimes. In all of these examples, I've been using a pretty fancy setup with uh, audio, uh, audio Evolution Mobile attached to um, full audio interface in my studio. So if you're out in the wild and you're, you're playing with just your mobile device, then you, you're going to have to take some other things into consideration. You can record off of just the device's mic, but if you're also monitoring through the device's speakers, then you're gonna get all kinds of feedback and just a whole mess. In fact, anything that the, the app is making any kind of sound, then it could potentially be recording itself. It's really gonna be handy to get yourself a, a pair of headphones or something. I mean, even the, the crappy ear pods or whatever, just any kind of, uh, headset is going to do you a world of good uh, because you can now separate out the things that you're hearing from the things that are being recorded. If you're playing a guitar or some other instrument that's making sounds out into the real world, you won't necessarily need monitoring. But if you've got something like a synthesizer, then like right now I've got my Prophet 12 hooked up to my uh, audio interface, which is hooked up to my Android tablet. I can't hear it because it's not making any sounds to me, right? I'm if I arm this track, I can see the VU meter moving up, but I'm not hearing anything. Uh, so in order to hear that, we got to turn on something called software monitoring. Uh, to do that, first we'll want to disarm track. And hitting more, we bring up the preferences. And halfway down through the audio options, we've got software monitoring. Now when I rearm the track, we hear it as soon as I hit the key. And I'm completely blown away by this extreme driver. Like, as soon as I'm hitting this key, I'm hearing it. If you find that you've got uh, latency, though, um, once again, disarming the track to go into preferences, we can uh, tweak the USB audio's buffer size. And the smaller the number, the faster it's going to try to do the audio processing. But Keep in mind that the, the smaller that number, the more your CPU is going to have to work over time to get all the audio done faster. So try to find something that's a happy medium for uh, you and your device. And uh, honestly, though, I'm really impressed with this uh, Audio Evolution Extreme driver. There's a, a major upside also to using software monitoring. Uh, we can turn on effects and just add those into what we're hearing. So. Right now, we're hearing the just a normal dry signal, but if I turn on an effect, we can hear that too. Um, now, this is 
non-destructive, which means if I record audio with this effect on, it's going to actually record the entirely dry signal. Uh, so you don't have to worry about um, you know, playing with the reverb because you know, reverb's fun. Who doesn't want to play with reverb? But you, you might not necessarily want to record all that reverb so that you can come back later and change that if you need to. Um, the reverb will still be there for you because now anything you play back will have the, the reverb that's now active. <laughs> <laughs> 